Hey, what's going on? It's Eric. I just made um, my Vindictus video. If you watched it, watch it. It's really good. This book is like awesome, but I have another book here. I wanted to make another video. Got to do these when I get the chance. I haven't had much time lately, but uh, so this one's called No Blade of Grass by John Christopher. And this is a good book for preppers because um, it takes place. See, it's an old book. Okay, it was written in uh, let's see, copyright year 1956. So it's kind of old and it was written in England. So it's a little, you know, like I, don't know, I guess a cultural difference. You know what I mean? When you read it, you know what I'm talking about when you read it, but. Um, but it's good, man. It um, takes place as these two brothers, um, really smart guys. One one brother uh, inherits the family farm, and uh, another brother becomes an engineer. And what happens is throughout the world there's a pandemic, and you know a lot of a lot of preppers they prepare for pandemics, pandemics, pand. <laughs> pandemics so I, I butcher every freaking word man i'm from long island so you know but um anyway yeah there's a uh there's a pandemic about but it's not nothing that affects humans it actually affects grass and all the grass in the world it just dies and so you know cattle can't eat you know it's you know animals die in turn and then also wheat barley um rye those are all grasses so they're dead uh, and so yeah so you can see <laughs> you can see what happens uh, if that happens it's pretty pretty bad so it takes place now in england um the one brother gathers up a couple of his neighbors and they head out to the country to his brother's farm you know so it's kind of like the story of them heading to the uh to the farm and you know this shit gets hairy fast too and you know it's really good it's um the brother actually has the way his farm is set up it's in like um it's in like a valley where there's like natural you know it's like enclosed it's like a natural fortress in a way you know what i mean they explain it really good in here and um he has pigs he feeds uh pigs on because he grows potatoes and beets and he feeds the pigs potatoes because pigs, uh, they mentioned pigs can live on potatoes. So you know, I never knew that, but now I do. And um, so, yeah, so he's got a farm. He's doing good. And so they're heading there and hopefully, you know, to survive this, this pandemic and, you know, things work out. They're hoping. But, uh, yeah, so you got to read it. It's, uh, it's, it's out of print, but I think... I think it went into print again. You got to go go on Amazon, just type in No Blade of Grass by John Christopher. I think it's actually reprinted. Um, oh man, I think it's called something like uh, Dead Grass or Grass is Dead or some, something like that. Something weird, but uh, either one. They're the same books. You'll see different titles. Books by John Christopher. It's, it's the same book. So, but this is the original book, the original title, No Blade of Grass by John Christopher. So, um, so yeah, let me see. I got a little notes here if there's anything else I wanted to say. And, um, no, just, yeah, kills grass, wheat, rice, oats, barley, rye, corn. Haha, <laughs> corn dies too. That's a grass, corn, bamboo. And, uh, cattle and goats die, no grass, you know, so... Yeah, it's pretty crazy, man. Something that, uh, it's really something that, you know, no one considered if there's ever a, you know, a disease, you know, worried about a disease that's going to affect us and kill us off and turn us into zombies and shit. But, you know, what happens if a disease hits that, that kills all the grass in the world, you know, it's just, it's kind of like a new idea, you know, it's, well, not new, it was 1952, but, uh, just an idea that no one ever really considered, you know. So, yeah, it's definitely really good. So, check it out. No Blade of Grass by John Christopher, and I will talk to you later.